All right, so I want to talk about uh, versioning very quickly here. And so I have a new folder called versions. I'm going to just make a new file called main.tf. And we're going to create a Terraform block. But what we're also going to do is set required uh, providers, or sorry, required, uh, not providers, required version. And so what this is going to do is say explicitly what version of Terraform we want to use. And I'm setting this as 1.0.0, and I'm using this tilde arrow. If you're wondering, you know, what is the logic behind all those things, I think it's all explained in the semantic or semver.org. So if you want to learn more, I strongly recommend you read through this to understand all this stuff inside and out. Highly applicable across the DevOps sphere, not just to Terraform. Um, but you know, if we go over to Terraform uh, GitHub repository and we drop down the branches and go to tags, here we can see all the versioning. We are using version 1.0.0 and uh, it all goes up to 1.1.0 uh, alpha, which is not out yet. And if you wanted to really know what's going on here, you go to releases and you can read what they have done. So here in 1.0.7, remove check for computer attribute, prevent object types with optional attributes for et cetera, empty uh, containers. So, when you're looking at the patch, the patch, which is the third number, the, the rightmost number, that's gonna keep you up to date in terms of security for the, the major minor version that you have for the 1.0. And you absolutely always wanna be using the latest. And so that's what this tilde does. It says take the, the, far uh, the, the, the farthest number to the right and make sure that it's the latest version that has been published. Um, and you know this comes back to my progressive versioning slide, which is if you want to have really good hygiene in terms of your uh, DevOps, what you should be doing is at least setting the tilde for sure, like this, the tilde arrow, or I would even go as far as saying equals arrow. And if you're really concerned about um, you know not using the next major version, you could say you will less than, you know, like less than, um, less than uh, you know one point. 2.0, even if it's not out, that's a good indicator to say, okay, well, I don't want to go too far ahead of time, but if you want to have progressive versioning, you should really be setting it like this, okay? Um, and this is going to be applicable for your AWS providers, um, anything else. So, you know, if we go over to, um, if we go over to the registry and we choose, whoops, AWS, and we drop this down here. We have that required version as well. So uh, as you copy it in, you're gonna notice that it's actually hard coded, but I would strongly recommend again, if we go here and take this and at least, at least do this. Uh, and if you're really, really being clever, you could do that, okay? And these are also all in GitHub repositories as that's how everything works. So you can go here and click and you can go over to the tags and see the versioning and you can go over to the releases and it's the same thing you can read about all the things that have changed okay uh, and that's something that you should uh you know consider doing all right so that's all there really is to this uh, i might want to just show you one more thing and this one is with terraform cloud so i'm going to go to terraform io and we're going to open up our terraform cloud and I'm gonna sign in. I probably haven't signed in in a while, so I'll probably ask, oh, no, no username and password, that's great. But what we can do is in a workspace, we can go to settings, and uh, is it version control? No, it is general. And under here, we can actually set the Terraform version. So if you happen to be working with a particular version, uh, you can go and say, okay, only use this version for Terraform Cloud, and that will, um, that will not upgrade it. It'll just keep you there if you need it for legacy reasons. But again, you know, what you really should be doing is um, using that progressive versioning, doing nightly builds and uh, discovering overnight that things are breaking so you can go fix those in the morning, okay? And that's it.